Hello, everybody. Wild Chevy here. It's been a while, but I'm back. Um, today's also Wednesday, so it's Wild Chevy Wednesdays. I got for you here the bundle for Gen Con 2017. I was able to get this be uh, because I'm a war core, but I'm going to show off the stuff for you guys so you guys can decide whether you want to buy this or not. You can still get this bundle through your local stores or through infinitythegame.com. This year, we have expansion set to Operation Ice Storm and Operation Red Veil. And so this, these two boxes here will expand those boxes, those starter boxes to a 300 point uh, list. Also, we have a Musashi Miyamoto chibi doll. Um, and then for Gen Con uh, itself, we also have the US Ariadna Intel Spec Ops. All right, so let's move these out of the way and show you what's inside. First up, we have the Musashi Miyamoto chibi. There's what it looks like all painted up. And here is the miniature itself. If any of you play um, Super Dungeon Explorer or Arcadia Quest, you can see kind of like the style of chibi that they went for. We also have a set of ar uh, arms and s swords. Pretty cool looking thing. If you get the bundle, you get that for free. Up next, we have the Intel Spec Ops. Pretty cool looking sculpt here. There will be a version that's not uh, con specific that'll come out later. We've got a main body here, other leg on a tactical rock, heavy pistol looks like, a the head and holding a blade. Pretty basic uh, looking uh, miniature together. Um, everything kind of slots in pretty nicely, so it won't be that hard. You New people might get your fingers stuck to it, but I don't see a lot of us uh, regulars having any issue with this miniature. I do like the sculpt though, very aggressive looking pose. All right, now up next, the Beyond Red Veil. I'm gonna butcher some of these names, but it's gonna be all right. So we did, for Red Veil has Hawk Islam and Yu Jing. So we're gonna get a, a Tariq Mansuri, Assassin Vede, Assassin uh, Rajik, a Dao Fei, an Imperial Agent, and a Gulong Skirmisher. These are all new sculpts. So let's take a look at what we have in the box. Uh, first, for our Hawk Islam, we have Tariq Mansuri, the big guy. This sculpt for him, uh, different, uh, as you can see in the back here, got a, a lot of different poses. This was the pose with the Spitfire. It's the same size as the original, but you know it's pretty good looking. A uh, lot, lot more aggressive looking pose. Yeah, no, I'm saying that a lot, but yeah. Uh, the first Tariq Masuri, um, just a very cinematic pose. This is a more I'm gonna beat you in the face pose. Next, we have the Rajik, Assassin Rajik. A very different tactical rock than we've uh, seen before. Um, this guy is coming in uh, from, he's flying in or whatever. So the pose is a lot more, let's see if we can see a little bit better. Um, the posings now with the rocks are a lot more stable than before. 
It's not just a tiny little point that the miniature is standing on. Lastly, for the Hawk Islam side, we have the new Hassan Fade sculpt. Again, I mean, check out that pose. It's a very large tactical Rocky standing on, but gives it the miniature a little bit more, uh, more of a stance on its base. All right, let's go to the Yujin side. It looks like we have our sniper here. Very nice pose. Um, yeah, really should be real easy to snap together, get out on the field, and in your games. There are three miniatures on each side for these boxes, and then. You, if you get the, the pre-order set, you'll also get the seventh one, which is a, usually a mercenary. So we have the big, the big guy here, heavy infantry, nice flowy cloak. All the details sculpted there onto the his cloak itself. Just a very big guy here. Very cool looking miniature. Gonna be this is gonna be real fun to paint up. And the last guy. Yeah. Using side, I'm not very familiar with on most of their miniatures, so I'm not sure how these profiles will do in the box. but they are very cool looking. And if you guys have bought the Red Veil, this is a perfect set uh, for you and your buddy to split. I'd suggest, yeah, give the opportunity just to split these with uh, somebody new so you guys can both learn the stuff uh, together. And lastly, we have the CSU. Pretty cool looking guy. You can use him in game um, as a CSU civilian if you're playing rescue or eh, more. You could also do it as an HVT if your opponent will let you. All detail here on the cloak is sculpted in, so you don't have to freehand that yourself. Very cool looking guy. Heck, I might even use him for the RPG that's coming out. All right, that's Red Veil. Vale. So now let's look at the Beyond Ice Storm. Ice Storm was the first box that came out for these two-player starter sets. So we have back here for Panoceana, we have the uh, Camus with HMG. We have a Swiss Guard HMG, and then we have a Neo Terra Bolt Paramedic. For the Nomad side, we have the Hellcats, we have an Intruder, and a very new miniature. So we don't even have the specs for this one yet, which we'll probably see at Gen Con, is a Kriza Borax. He's a big guy. All right, let's look at the Pano side here. Tiny little bags. All right. Got the Neo Terra Bolt. For you guys belong in the faction. 
here's another bolt for you guys to uh, use. And if any of you have the old uh, Tabitha, you know, Terra Bolt, similar look, but this one's not the cosplay edition. Let's see. So hopefully, this pedo uh, duck can do a lot more for their army than the, the trauma duck. All right. Up next our guy with the HMG. Very cool looking dude. And the guy with the big sword. Because who doesn't love a big sword on a miniature? Very big, very mean looking guy. Nice little pose on him. Um, definitely want to see this game paint, painted up. I think anybody who plays Pano will really enjoy this addition to their army. All right, now the Nomads. I'm really liking the Nomad stuff because, you know what? I started playing Nomads. I know, I know. Poor, poor Wild Chevy. But you know what? I picked up the, the bundle for Wu-Tan and started into Corregidor. So we're just going to roll with it and see how well I do at painting red. This is our new guy. This dude is huge. He's not a tag. He is heavy infantry. And if you've seen the leaks or anything like that, this is going to be a very cool guy as far as rules. And hopefully we'll see him in the new sectoral when it comes out. Next, we have the Hellcat. Once again, like I said, new tactical rock design for a lot more stability for these miniatures as they um, as their posing is when they come down uh, from their combat jumps. That's going to be nice on the base. Easy to pin up. Easy to assemble. And lastly, we got the new Intruder Sniper. Uh, looks like she's got a tactical canister that she's resting on. Very, very cool. Great addition to Corregidor 2. I'll be using, I'll be assembling her here soon to paint up for my new army. And lastly, we have the Authorized Bounty Hunter. This is the limited edition for this box. Pretty cool looking dude. And I've been asked, and nope, there's no tattoos sculpted onto his arm. So if you want to try that out yourself, you can do that. Or you can just paint it as flesh. Make it real easy for yourself. 
All right, guys. That is the bundle for this year at Gen Con. Um, these also will be available, I believe, on their store. Maybe not with the limited edition afterwards. But if you are playing Red Veil or Operation Ice Storm, definitely suggest picking these up. Um, split it with your buddy. Split it with your friend. Or, you know what? If you're out there just uh, doing demos, great set to pack up, uh, pick up demos. Let me know what you guys think. Put it down in the comments. This is Wild Chevy. I'll talk to you guys next time when I do another unboxing.